Refueling truck is on its way. Boarding requested. There are no there are no passenger stairs. You will not see passengers visually. Do you want to board crew? Crew bus is coming. Fuel truck is in position. Pilots boarding starting. Crew boarding starting. Your crew has boarded. Baggage handling is complete and the aircraft is clear, sir. Hello everyone, welcome, Adam from J Pestridge, welcome to another P3D video, and by request I'm going to show you how you can create a profile for GSX for a plane, so all the animations for GSX work appropriately, you've just seen the crew boarding up, um, and there was no cargo actually being loaded, because this door hasn't got an assigned loading uh, door assignment. Um, got the GPU out, but I mean it's in the correct place, but I dare say if I asked for de-icing It probably wouldn't de-ice them at the appropriate place And in fact the fuel truck came a little bit too far away from my liking So I want to show you how you can easily set up a profile for GSX to work properly um, When you get a new plane coming out GSX like has default set positionings where it thinks everything's going to be like where the wheel the gear uh, will be where the wings will be and these might not be correct to what the actual third-party developer has created and sometimes you get lucky and the third-party developer creates a gsx profile and that's great i see a lot of people as well sharing profiles um for their planes now i've never been an advocate for that because you know somebody might have created a profile or gotten a profile of somebody else with a very old version of gsx and the the way GSX has changed over the years, it just might not be compatible with the current build. And just to be safe rather than sorry, um, it's best not to share profiles, to be honest. It's best just to create your own. And it's so easy to do. You'll be doing it like a pro in no time after you watch this video. Like I said, sharing profiles, big no-no. A lot of people do it, but it can be the cause of issues further down the line if GSX changes over time with features and yet the profile is set for an older build of GSX. So just like, just don't do it, okay? It is really easy. What you need to do is, I recommend being in the spot viewpoint so you can buzz around your aircraft and zoom in with the scroll wheel. It's much more better. But first off, know your aircraft. So we're in the Twin Otter here, and it's got a door at the rear on the right side, and then it's got... It has got another door here, but this door, I don't actually know if it opens. Let me see. Rear cargo. Oh, it does. Oh, no. So the little one does. But I don't think the passenger door opens. Yes, they do. Okay. So typically, passengers will always board the left side of your plane for GSX. And cargo and... Um, Catering will always go on the right side. You can sometimes get cargo loading in on the left side, but more often than not, it it's saved for this side. So it's really hard to kind of get them to swap over. So for this plane, I've got passengers boarding here. Now, 
the way you enter the GSX menu is bring up your uh, taskbar at the top, go to add-ons, down to GSX, and customize aircraft. And then you'll get this menu pop up. And it'll tell you, based off the CFG file, everything you need to know. All the doors, all the gears, everything. Now, like I said, this is a passenger door. So this door is positioned like as PAX 3. And it states that there's no door at this position. So we won't actually put a door. So door with custom uh, checks. Now it's going to say, you know, do you need stairs for this? Um, and you can customize it in the 3D editor, which we will do. So here is the door. Now, as you can see, it's not exactly in the great position. So using your arrow keys, you can actually move it in any sort of direction you like. And then if you want to make it higher it is F4. And F1 will lower it. So we want to make sure it is coming out appropriately and kind of lined up correctly. So probably go up one more. No, that's too high. So that's that's probably about right. And you can move the camera to sort of gauge where you want it. As you can see, it's not flush with the door. So we can just move it back. And now it is. And that's set now in the correct place for PAX 3. So using the home button on your keypad, you can move to the next one. Is the gear correctly positioned? Yes. Click home again. And it will say, is your engine there? Yes, it is. And the second engine? Yes, that's there correctly. Now, this is the bypass pin position so if you ever see the guy walking through your flight deck it's because he's going to this position now the bypass pin on most planes is underneath the uh the plane right by the gear so you want to get the um you want to get the gear pin positioning in the right position so let's see we need to move it there i would say probably there Ooh, is that too high it's a little bit too high so lower it one more time and we'll say that that is the correct position for the man to be standing at to to correctly sort the pin out uh home button again now it's saying the gpu where will it be and as you can see the gpu it's tied to this corner here so i'm gonna shift it just a little bit further away i think it's slightly too close there we go uh click home again and now it wants the lavatory now the lavatory and the water are not in use at the moment but when they are then you will need to position them so we can just skip past them for now fuel truck where do you want the fuel truck to be well i would say the fuel truck the best place for the fuel truck is underneath the wing so if you put the truck here uh right there is good now you got to remember will the truck fit under the wing though if it doesn't fit under the wing then you need to shift it a little aft of the wing i do believe the fuel truck will fit nicely under this wing so i'm going to leave that there click home again and now it's asking for the de-icing so the de-icing obviously will go on the wing so right there and then click again and it will say where's your other de-icing and it will go on the other side just here really nicely uh, using the arrow keys again the up the down the left and the right and then obviously if you want to go up if you want to go down it's f1 and f4 click home again and now it's asking for packs three now we can finish this but we're going to come back in so click y to exit right and as you can see i've figured the packs three if you go to packs one this usually will say door checks uh the main cargo is there which to be honest we could actually because this is a cargo plane we could actually state custom door checks here um instead of passenger so i will do that uh, customize an editor and then we just need to position it correctly because this is a cargo plane uh, up again maybe a bit to there that'll do I think yep that's correct now so the cargo will load in there exit the editor um and now the service trolley so the only door we can actually have for service is this one here so uh this is the catering so click on service two custom door checks go into the editor and again position it where you want it now this one seems to be flipped around um so what we need to do is twist it around to face the front 
as best as we can. You could also finite the turn to more accurately sort of small do it by pushing page down. I recommend only doing that when you're lined up though. So that needs to go up by F4, up again, uh, forward, and then shift it along. And then we can tweak the turn using the camera so we know exactly to line it up properly. Put it flush with the deck move it along and there we go that's where the service trucks will come now that is completely correct now it won't allow you to save this you have to sort of tick a box and untick a box or do something down here so you can now save it and now this profile has been saved so the next time we load in everything will work properly refueling truck is on its way Handling is complete and the aircraft is clear, sir. Fuel truck is in position. Catering vehicles are on their way. Boarding requested. Unless a third party developer has stated it, basically um, the fuel will be full by default. So some developers will have a, um, a line of code that will make sure your tanks are empty upon loading in or that you can actually preset it in the FMC in the flight deck. So um, we've ordered fuel, but our fuel tanks were already full. So he just went. Best thing to do in case you're unsure Go into your vehicle menu, fuel and payload, and just zero all these figures to nothing. Just change them all, and it will now, once all the red goes, you gotta click it a couple of times sometimes, do that. Now there is no fuel aboard your aircraft, so we can ask to refuel again. And this time, he'll stay. It's a real busy day here with the vehicles now. Obviously, there are no stairs started. for this aircraft, so Your crew has boarded. The, the you know there is no staircase uh, available for this aircraft. So visually, no people will get on board unless there is stairs here. Now, this the, there is a minimum height that your aircraft must be at, and before um, the staircase will show and actually connect to your plane and unfortunately the twin otter just falls short of that minimum base um, it doesn't matter the height of your plane the stairs will angle correctly to line up fluidly and passengers will board your plane with the door um, that you've that you've sort of connected it to unfortunately there is a minimum height for these stairs so the, the it's it this falls way below that so there we go now we've loaded in now, unfortunately, I assigned cargo on this side. The cargo loader's animations just do not take place. They only take place on this side. So on the rear door, I actually need to assign a, um, a mapping for the uh, cargo area. So the cargo on the left side of the plane, which is on here, is this door i believe packs three let me just double check around the gpu unit uh it's actually packs almost like packs four um but obviously this doesn't include the baggage loading so the baggage loading will actually load but unfortunately um i didn't assign it did i so if we go to packs three um and we can actually customize it in this one 
So we just bring it across. Uh, go into spot mode because it's easier. So packs three. Basically, I'm now reassigning it. And we need to turn it around. And kind of do it like this. And now we will have cargo and baggage loaded in this spot once I save it. Now, it won't take effect until the next time you load your sim. So you will have to wait until the next time your sim loads before you'll see a baggage cart here loading cargo um, as if it is cargo. Um, in fact, here comes the baggage cart, so maybe it will do it, actually. But I don't think it will. But anyway, that's basically how you create a GSX profile for a plane. It's really simple. Um, up and down arrows on the keys, left and right arrows. F4 makes it go higher, F1 makes it go lower. Uh, page down will tweak the turn because F8, the turn is quite big. And once you've done it, it's, it's, you'll get addicted to doing it, you know, because it makes GSX work. And if GSX is using the default, oh, so we assigned it this side, actually. So I think it's going to load it this side. But the baggage loaders, unfortunately, don't load on that side of the plane. They anim animate it only to load on the other side of the plane. So this will take place correctly the next time I load into this aircraft. And I do believe we have a fuel truck coming, which will now be properly fueled. Because if we go into the menu here, it's all at zero. And if we say 100, he will actually load up the plane. Let's get in position. So the, this is the reason why maybe GSX is not acting properly, because it doesn't know what it's supposed to do with this plane. Um, if you ever get GSX, you know, well, hang on, you didn't fuel up, mate. It's because nothing's been assigned to do it. Fuel truck is in position. So now he's going to fuel up, and he should stay now. There he is. You hear the fuel loading, and he's going to stay. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this. Don't forget, I give away Sim Market vouchers on my channel every single month. I go live with a vlog, and I give away 50 euros of Sim Market vouchers that you can spend on flight sim add-ons for any flight sim. To be with a chance to win, all you have to do is leave, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below in any one of my P3D videos, and at the end of the month, I will go live with the vlog and announce the winner. Thank you so much for watching this. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.